Ooh. What? Oh. No, I can't deal with that right now. I must see this a lot, huh? More than you know. What do you do about this? You know, dude, like, a college education and a pedigree doesn't guarantee success. I've had a couple throwing incidents. Sometimes I don't know how parents are gonna respond when I tell them how their kids really are. Well, thanks. Uh, Amper, I'm a little sharp right now, but I got this major Chris Nolan project coming up. I could pay it to you all then. Really? No, I'm good for Come it. Come on, man. I don't work for free. Amper. As a buddy, as a friend. Like, after everything we just talked about, I helped you out, then you helped me out, helping me pay my rent out, you know? I told you. I give you the information. You give me the cash. I know, I know, I know. But I'm gonna give it to you, you know that. Do you have anything for the cause? <laughs> 40. Say, listen, if there's anything I can do to help you video-wise, you're like an editor? Special effects. Right on. Hi, is this BS Investigations? Indeed. Welcome. Uh, Tom. Amber. Is this a real business? According to my license. How can I help you? Tom? Well. Rekindling the past is a part of our condition. I'm like a warm blanket. I want to rekindle the spark with an old flame, but I want to get some info on her before I do. And I'll see what she's up to. She's like an older woman, dude. What can I say? If she showed me the ways of the world. I don't always no one else has. All right, all right. Rekindling an old flame. What's her name? Uh, Melissa Bailey. She runs a business on 2nd Street. Okay, and what do you want from me? A background check in an existing relationship? No, just a little video on her life, day in, day out. Isn't that something you can check out yourself, man? It, it's not my thing. And I have money and I'd prefer if someone else did it. All right, um, okay. It, it's a hundred bucks an hour, um, plus costs, and this could take a couple of hours. Great. How are you gonna get home? <coughs> uh, Uber. Hydrate my home break. 
You know, God forbid I walk down the street and I say to someone here, I love America. <clears throat> and yeah, I know the whole Trump thing, but just put it to the side. In Tennessee, you can do it no problem. In Kentucky, it's no. But here, in the land of the liberals, it's, it's not politically correct. Hey, uh, we adopted a goat. What? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <I wanna> see. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> I want to see. I'll show you. Uh, Look at it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah, he looks like my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> the goat? <laughs> yeah. And he was hot. Has yeah. anybody ever, like, eaten a goat? What? No. One time. Really? Really? You ate a goat? I think so. Where? Yeah, I feel like you're not telling um, us something. It was in a bowl. It was in a, the goat was in a bowl. Yeah. Okay, like, so you ate like a bowl of goat. It was, yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, the one thing that I have to give California credit for is marijuana. Right on. Yeah. That's legitimate. But right on, you yeah. heard about that woman who died of an accidental overdose? You can't <laughs> overdose on pot. Yeah, you can. What? On, yeah, you can overdose on synthetic marijuana. What? Yes, it's a real thing. Wait, this, where'd you see uh, that? Uh, look. Yep. There we go. Local business owner dies. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it was like a synthetic, uh, edible. You okay? Yeah, dude, I'm just faded. It's nice to be in Melissa's home away from home. Thank you for looking after my sister. One of the things I love about you Quakers is everything's so peaceful. World full of love, everyone's got light in their eyes. But it's not! Sorry, I'm a former CIA guy and she, uh, <laughs> she wanted me keeping it real. She was a loving sister and friend and even when she didn't have the confidence to do certain things, she led with her conscience. She found strength in doing right by others. She was the kind of person we all, we all wish we could be. Maybe we shouldn't wish to be that, because I mean, what, what does it get you? Dead. Uh, hey man, um, sorry about your sister. Thanks, big loss. Friend? Sort of. Trying to know her. Uh, from a distance. <laughs> Didn't we all? So, uh, do you have any suspicions about her death? I mean, she was a stoner for years. I didn't know she was doing synthetic edibles, but hey man, whatever gets your thing up. Yeah, but an overdose on synthetic marijuana that doesn't like raise any red flags to you? I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, I'm nobody, man. I knew your sister briefly and not well. What the hell does that mean you knew her briefly and not well? I know, uh, we were uh, acquaintances. How? From a distance, ah. Uh... Tell me who you are right now, or I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Right, right. Uh, so, I'm the person. I got hired, man, to videotape your sister two days before she died. It was an old flame wanting to reconnect. An old flame? Who? It was this guy, man, named Tom Hyden. It was a dude? It was a dude, man. Well, my sister was a lesbian. She was big time gay, hugely gay. If gay were people, she'd be China. 
Sadly, the only thing that that woman and I had in common was our mutual love of vagina. So... You were hired, gave the tape to someone, and now she's dead. So you were involved in her death. No, man, no. I was not involved in her death. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I got set up. Oh, God forbid my sister die in a nice, normal overdose. This dystopian, wretched force of a world. You know, I can't talk about this right now. I started the shop in 2002, just after 9-11. Starting a liquor store, it felt like a gift to humanity to me. Goddamn community service in this batshit crazy world. Right on. So, uh, Melissa Bailey? I didn't know her that well. She was president of the Merchants Association. I mean, she didn't have anything to gain from it. Uh, that store barely stayed afloat. She wasn't even open nights. Huh. So, uh, why'd she do it? She just thought it was the right thing to do. The homeowners association wanted businesses to close at nine so they could have their beauty rest while we climb all over each other just to survive. You close businesses at nine, well, the ones that are open at night, they're gonna go out of business. It's over half the block. Oh. Well, she couldn't prove it, but she thought they harassed her for it. What do you mean? What'd they, what'd they do to her? Stalled her business license renewal, stole her bead supply from her back door and put proselytizing Christians in front of her store. Proselytizing Christians? Yeah, can you imagine? So Melissa was in a conflict between the Homeowners Association and the Merchants Association. Huh. College kitties. Still paying my bills. What's new with you? Well, aside from my enlarged prostate and my college junior who's screwing around, I don't have many complaints. What's going on with your kid? He's on academic probation at the beach. It's fucked is what it is. I may be using you. Dude, you gotta remember a college education and a pedigree doesn't guarantee success or happiness. Why are you here? I am looking into it for a friend. Oh, a friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you know the victim? No. No. Buddy, since you're getting into this business, you should see this picture. This is cool. These pictures of a dead body. It's all good, dude. I, uh, I have Google. Who hired you? Uh, I, I told you, man. I'm, like, doing it for a friend. Uh... I don't know if I can let you up there. Look, dude, I promise if I find anything, you will be the first person I tell. Just do me a favor. Don't make my job any harder than it is, okay? I will do my best. Cause of death, still synthetic weed? It's an OD. She was a vegan. She has synthetic weed, ibuprofen, and tofurkey in her system. I'll call you, right? All right, sounds good. Thanks, man.
Hi. Can I help you? Oh, hey. What are you taking pictures of? Nothing. Uh, I'm just snooping, being nosy. <laughs> you still poking into Melissa's death? Look, I checked into it after our conversation, and the local PD doesn't think there's anything suspicious. I know, man. They think it's an OD, so no, they're not gonna look into it anymore. But I'm, I'm telling you, dude, I got hired under false pretenses. And then, when I tried to call the guy who hired me, I got a non-working phone number. And I just found out that Melissa was in a huge conflict between the Homeowners Association and the Merchants Association. I'm sure everything will work out fine. The local PD can handle this. And you're Mr. CIA man? Nothing surprises you? Not really. Have you done investigating? Some. Well, do you know if anybody had any beef with your sister? Not really. You guys weren't that close, huh? Don't you have anywhere else you can be? I don't know, dude. That all seems super suspicious to me. I have a contract that starts in a week that's going to make my entire year. I've got to clear out Melissa's shit and get to Columbia. I'm just telling you, man. I watched your sister do a lot of really good things for a lot of people. Don't you want to get to the bottom of this? You're who again? I'm Amber. I run a business right here in Beaumont Shore. It's a parental information gathering outfit. And uh, Dwayne is the brother of the late Melissa Bailey. Uh, so he's just affiliated with me, trying to help me gather as much information as we can about, you know, her passing. Melissa was fine. I'm very sorry for your loss. She was firm, you know, but always straight up. You know, I never really had a problem with her. Huh. So, who pressured her, dude? I mean, who stole her bead supplied? Who put proselytizing Christians outside her store? I beg your pardon? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, uh, you know, you guys, you know, wanted something and, you know, she was in your way. We were in a conflict, we had a difference of opinion, but as far as that other stuff, who was doing that, I have no idea. How long have you been in charge of the uh, Homeowners Association? Why is that even relevant? How often do you guys meet? I mean, what do you guys even do? Do you guys meet at like a community center or? We rotate around to the different businesses, dinner, drinks. We had four parties catered last year. It was a wonderful affair. It was quite a blast. We had a lot of great food and a lot of great drinks. Huh. So you guys all spring for that? Us and our sponsor. You have a sponsor? Who's that? What does this have to do with Melissa again? <sighs> well, you know, I, I, we're just trying to gather as much information as we can, dude, about, you know, what she was involved in. I mean, is that normal, the homeowners having a sponsor? You know, I think I've said enough. Um, I need to end our conversation hey, now. Hey, man, I'm not trying to shake anybody down. I'm just trying to gather as much information as I can. So if you don't mind telling us who the sponsor is of the Homeowners Association, we will be on our way. I need you to leave. What's the problem, man? I... I need you to leave. Hey man, what is your problem? You know what, it's, it's fine. He's clearly done talking to us. We can let him get back to polishing his silver or whatever it is you rich people do in your spare time. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> now you listen to me, you wealthy <laughs> fuck. My sister was a saint. She got caught up in the middle of this bullshit and now she's dead, you understand me? I've waterboarded a mother of three in front of her children. She soiled herself, so if you think I'm gonna hesitate to do some permanent damage, you are seriously the fuck mistaken. Now you tell my friend here who sponsors your goddamn silver spoon tea cake filled homeowners association kiss ass parties before I start ripping out fingernails. Whittle LLC! Whittle LLC, thank you. Let's go. Fucking asshole. Sorry, man. Fuck. <laughs>thing I like to call torture. It's used all over the world and it works really well. It's a common myth that it doesn't. Yeah, well, I don't want to lose my license. You're going to lose your license. That was goddamn assault. I'm present, therefore I'm an accessory, therefore I could lose my license. Look, I had to get involved, okay? He was getting wise to what you were asking him. 
You gotta learn to be more circumspect with your questioning. You might as well just run it up a flagpole. I'm here to probe you! Okay, well... Listen, if you have issues with the way I'm questioning, just tell me. Don't jump in and take over. I can't afford to deal with other shit. You can't ask me to get results and then question the way I get them, okay? If you think people came in and questioned what we did at the CIA? Yes, I do. All the liberal pussies who can't handle the truth. Look, I... I have respect for you and... You know, whatever department you were in in the CIA, okay? But this is not Afghanistan. This is Beaumont Shore, California, and here the rule of law does still apply. Amber, my sweet summer child, you still believe in the rule of law. I hope it never betrays you and sucks the last little bit of hope from your soul. Okay. Whittle LLC is owned by this company called Gigaray Development Company. And Gigaray Development Company has several permits and applications for a ton of developments and McMansions all over Beaumont Shore. Okay, rich people trying to get richer. What, they want the businesses to close early to protect their investments or to boost housing prices? Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm David. Thanks for seeing us. Yeah, absolutely. So, what can I do for you? Uh, so uh, we were just wondering why Giga Ray sponsors the Beaumont Shore Homeowners Association. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, so uh, your company, you own Whittle LLC, and Whittle LLC sponsors the Beaumont Shore Homeowners Association. Apparently you guys meet like once a month, and there's a party, and there's really good food at oh, this gig. Oh, great. And the drinks. <laughs> Is it? I wouldn't know. So uh, anyway, we were just uh, wondering, we know you have a lot of developments and renovations in the area, and we were uh, just wondering what the connection was. Well, to my knowledge, we don't sponsor any homeowners associations, so... No, dude. We know you, you sponsor them. That dude, uh, Johnson Murphy, he's the president. He told us you sponsor them. We know you sponsor them. He must have been mistaken. Uh, here I am telling you a fact, and you're just gonna deny it? What's up with that, man? Maybe we go to the fucking press. Yeah, you know, I got a buddy at the LA Times. We give them what we know, they sort it out, you and I go get drunk at Panama Jane's. Okay, I'll bring my vape. All right, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, look, this isn't something we normally do, but if the homeowners associations ask for it, we provide it to support the community. Huh. Hmm. So now you know all about it. Look at that. And that would have nothing to do with the developments you got going on in the area? Again, I wouldn't know. Okay. So, the Times, and then the Long Beach Dispatch, and that's it. Wait, come, come on. Yes, yes, okay? Yes. We help out the homeowners to support the community and our businesses. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Well, why lie about it? Because we don't want the competition to know our strategy. Competitors, huh? Any idea what happened to the president of the Merchants Association? Who stole her bead collection? Who held up her license? Yeah, I'm getting sick of this dickhole. Hey! Dwayne, what the fuck? Oh! You fucking asshole! Security's You've been warned, you prick. We're on to you. Yeah? Sorry, man. Well, fuck you! I'm sorry, man. Hey, man, what part of the CIA were you in again? The awesome part. Also, there aren't parts, there's sections. That was in the awesome section. 
Okay, well, I thought CIA people were supposed to be, like, smooth and stealthy, like Jason Bourne. You're, like, as smooth as a goddamn hammer. All right, first of all, I am smooth as fuck, and you just don't know all the levels I'm working on. And second, actual operative work is anything but clean. It's only clean in the movies. In real life, people piss shit and bleed all over themselves. It's fucking disgusting. Okay, well, you still seem like you have anger issues. Well, I've done some intel gathering, and this woman runs Giga Ray. Cheryl Whitman. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the lady that Melissa got in a fight with the day before she died. Really? Yes. So this Cheryl's like a former dot-com queen. Real high flyer during the dot-com era in the 2000s. Ivy grad. Made a ton, then crashed and burned. So she was like on the cover of Forbes. Fortune. She's been trying to claw her way back ever since. Hey, can I take this one? Well, maybe we can uh, get through this. You can pick up a few things and I can be back in my office by Thursday. Excuse me. Yeah, great. Just tell Patrick I'll meet him at 4 o'clock. You're not the Cheryl Whitman, are you? Former dot-com queen? I thought I recognized you. I I'm so sorry to interrupt. My name's Dwayne. I'm a huge fan. I mean, wow! You really rocked the markets and then walked away with a killing. You know, she was on the cover of Forbes magazine. Wasn't it Fortune? Oh, right. Fortune. Oh, you were huge! Then that bubble burst and just shit everywhere. Well, I have had some good fortune. Who are you? You're not former shareholders, are you? No, no, just fans. Uh, well, it's been charming. I must go. Lovely meeting you. Oh, we're just in town for a funeral. My sister passed unexpectedly. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe you knew her. She lived around here. Melissa Bailey? Your sister was Melissa Bailey. Uh, sure, you could say I knew her. She, uh, she and I, we'd work together in the community. She was very dedicated to her causes. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. I must be running, excuse me. When's the last time you saw her? Excuse me? Amber DeCollier, local PI. Love your work. Melissa and I had coffee two days before she died. Why? What'd you talk about? I don't have time for this. Okay. Waltz away. We're gonna take your reputation, twirl it on our finger, and then slam it into the ground. You wanted the Merchants Association to make the businesses around here close early to protect your investment, and Melissa wouldn't play ball. So you embarrassed her. And when she still wouldn't budge, well, you did something about it, didn't you? Is that what you do? Falsely accuse people of contributing to someone else's death? Well, I mean, you have a big investment in the area. Let's just say her death was pretty convenient for you and that Buck Rogers ass sound and company of yours. What'd you say your name was? Dwayne? I got news for you. Buying up residential properties and wanting businesses to close at a reasonable hour so neighborhoods can remain quiet is no state secret. Yes, Melissa and I disagreed, but your sister was smart, optimistic, and naive. She had no interest in finding a way to work together. So yeah, I get pissed when people don't want to work together. But there was no reason to hurt her. I had other ways of working through. So if you didn't pressure her, who did? Who put the proselytizing Christians in front of her store? I have no idea. Is that it? Is that all you got? Nothing else? Not right now. What he's trying to say is we're going to get to the bottom of this. Who are you? You you look sad and you're like all frumpy and lived in. Is that because you're like trying to keep it real? I mean, what is this? Are you stoned right now? You sound stoned. I don't know, a little. You're not a threat to me. You're too busy defeating yourself. Oh, sure, you claim you need it for medicinal purposes and to soothe your anxieties, but bit by bit, you are just wasting yourselves away. I don't have that problem. 
I may be succeeding and failing, but I am at that plate taking my swings. And as a woman, no less. What have you done with your life? What have you done that's ever meant anything to this world, aside from tragically slowly turning yourself into a fool? Why don't you have a little respect for yourself before you even think about taking me on? Then, maybe you can make a difference. Whatever. Fuck it, man. Let's go. That's right. Wait a minute, man. <laughs> Give up before you even get started. Go on home and smoke your bong and get all comatose. Long live your marijuana. That's right. <laughs> you made your money by preying on the get rich quick urges of little people, bilking them out of millions. And if you'd have thought of it, you'd have done the same. This is my most prized possession. It's from Egypt and there is real Sanskrit on it. How could this be wrong? Well, I still have access to some of my old CIA databases. Cheryl Whitman is in some serious debt, like 200 million bucks in the cornhole. So? So, the real estate market around here that she could realistically have access to just isn't that big. It's not a big enough play. <sighs> it means the whole motivation for her to hurt Melissa is shit. Fuck. Uh, listen. I think I'm gonna go. Back to Melissa's? Back east. Back home. Back to my business. Right on. Sorry to bail on you, but uh, this is getting kind of complicated. I feel like maybe it's more the work of the local PD, you know? Besides, I'm feeling the call on my business and those Benjamins. <laughs> That's cool. Smoke? Nah, I don't smoke. Drink? So you're from here? Glendora. Azusa. Inland Empire. And those are places? Just east of LA. Ah. You? Uh, east Coast, New York suburbs, upper middle class. Right on. So, uh, no Mr. Someone Special? Or Ms.? Nah, not one. Oh, I see. I like it, playing those ponies. No, no, I... I... date, I just... nobody regular. Mm, I hear that. I don't really have time in my life for anyone other than the big M. Moi. Anybody ever make a play? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I'm just not ready. Why's that? I mean, you heard the lady today. I gotta get my act together. That? No. No. Why do you need to get your act together? I don't even know how I got duped into this. Look, it's <laughs> easy to be a cynical fucker. I'm just trying to outsmart the other cynical fuckers. That's the way the world turns. But you have faith. That's damn hard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That is just how I feel. Sure. Do you want to know why I don't do murders? The awful smell of decomposing corpses? The fucking confidence, man. The sheer fucking confidence to 
perform on that level and then take money for it. Hmm. What about you? What about me what? No squeeze back home? No, there's no room in my life except for the big M. We just had a whole thing. I know, but why? I mean, your sister did a lot for a lot of people, so you couldn't have always been so self-centered. What happened? Well, as long as I'm bearing my soul to Mother Teresa, I was in the agency, doing my thing, and uh, came to a situation in Iraq where we had to take out a village. Women, children, whole families for political reasons. I was like, what the hell are we doing? And I got into it by being a military chaplain, you know? I wanted to give back to my country. And oh, when everything started going crazy, I just... Uh... It's like everything I had worked for for years was just thrown out the window. So I just kind of said, to hell with it all. Curse God. Went into business for myself and started looking out for numero uno. That's the first time I've ever told anyone that. I think I read somewhere that that's called the white man's dilemma. The white man's? What is in your weed? Well, like, you are a born a white guy. So, with that, you have privilege and power because you're just a white dude. So, you go through life expecting a certain amount of success. And when that doesn't happen, you get angry and disappointed because you grow up thinking, I expect that and I expect this and I deserve that. And then that doesn't happen. So instead of just taking life's bumps as they come, you rail against them. Huh. Well, I'm gonna have to noodle Roni that one for a while. I'm tired. Yeah. Can I be honest with you? I feel like I can be honest with you. Jesus, you're beautiful. What's up? You know, she went out of her way to insult me. If I was really nothing, then why even spend the time? She's trying to dig at us, man. Sideline us. I really think that we're onto something. I'll go with you. You okay? PG. Melissa came by and asked me about the damages. Did she ask about anything else? I don't remember. What happened? I don't know. Came in one morning and there was water all over the place. Did a lot of damage. Couldn't prove anyone else did it, so insurance only pays a piece of it. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that, man. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Probably so. Can you get a deal on that? Yeah, right now. We've got to sell for a lot less. Already got an offer on the place. From who? Oh, no. Um, uh, Tiger Development? Huh. Do you have any contact info? Oh, here you go. They're, uh, Doing a lot with the businesses around here. Rosie down the street, she also had some suspicious water damage. She's selling the tiger. Tone across the way, he has some smoke damage. He still doesn't know what the hell happened. Huh. He's selling the tiger too. 
Well, let us know if you hear of anything else. Also, this is the number for a guy in Washington with the SBA. They're usually pretty good about finding funds for small businesses going through this kind of thing. Thanks. Oh, wait, I do remember what else uh, Melissa and I talked about. She also asked about the businesses around here. Hmm. Thanks, man. I just received this last night. It's a video, along with a note that says, end your Beaumont Shore developments, or we'll turn this over to the police. It contains footage of Melissa and I arguing outside the coffee shop two days before she died. What were you arguing about? I already told you, she didn't want to work with me. It's from a competitor. And how, pray tell, do you know that? Because they're all losing. This is exactly something they would do to set me up, to make me look bad. I mean, you know there are other developments going on here in Beaumont Shore, right? Businesses closing at nine would have benefited all of them. So have you checked into them? So why don't you go check them out? In fact, that's why I called you here. I want to hire you. You want to hire me? Yeah. I need you to find out who sent this. Are you available? I don't know, man. What do you mean you don't know? Don't you need the work? Yeah, but... I don't know, man. The phone call was pretty jarring to begin with, and then there was the whole long-live marijuana thing. I'll pay you $30,000 in addition to your fees to find out who did this. My developments are important enough to me. The future of my company is on it. And if you find who sent the video, you may also find out who's behind Melissa's death, right? You're saying one of your competitors did this? Then why don't you write us a check for $1,000 right now or we walk? What? Come on, man. All right, then why don't you pucker up those dot-com lips of yours and click a like on my hairy ass? Dude, come on. Give us a minute. Come here. Dude, what the fuck, man? Well, I mean, it's worth checking out. I just think that we, and by we, I mean you, should get paid for your time. I don't want our money. Are you serious? You should be looking at like a pregnant cow. Look. I don't know what her deal is. I don't take a dime. I don't know her a thing. Oh, yeah, well, she's a two-faced, backstabbing, fascist pig. Well, you're the boss. So, do we have a deal? Good. Now, there are only three possible sources for the video. I list them on there. So the number and website from the business card for Tiger Realty that the restaurant guy gave us doesn't give me an address, and no one's called me back. So this guy is the only competitor to Whitman that could stand to gain anything if business is closed at nine. A gym? Dude's name's Brad Spear. He owns Buttercup Properties, and apparently they have a really good chunk of real estate in Beaumont Shore. I called his office and they said he was at the gym. So how are we gonna prove that he sent the video if we don't know he did it? We gotta get a look at his briefcase. How are we gonna do that? Need to convince him he wants us to look at it. Hey, Brad Spear? Brad Spear? My name is Dwayne Bailey. This is Amber DeCollier. Listen, there's been some tensions mounting between the homeowners and merchants associations in Beaumont Shore. And uh, I'm sorry to say some of the business owners who are looking to expand in the area have been getting threats. Uh, we understand you're looking to expand and we have reason to believe somebody may have put a powder uh, in your briefcase, uh, even possibly a device. Now, maybe nothing, but uh, we'd like to check it out if you don't mind. Um, right here, you're more than welcome to watch, of course. It won't take very long. Uh, okay. Who are you guys with again? Uh, who are you guys with again? Yeah, why don't we take a step over here real quick here. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm former CIA. Amber's a private eye. This won't take long at all. Hey, are you reading my memos? No, no. I, I'm, I'm just looking for powder. She's looking for powders. So, uh, so listen, how's business? Business is booming. Good, 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 yeah. good to hear. Hey, you're reading my memos. Uh, no, you know what? No, she's almost man. give me my bag back. Suspicious. Please be patient. No, now give All me right, my bag. Look, this is for your safety, but I will take you out if I have to. Oh, you. will you? Yeah. This? What, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck, man? Get off. I got it. No, 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 I got no, no, it. No, no, no. Keep looking. Keep hey, looking. Hey, Zach Galvanagas, let go. I ain't letting me go. He's gonna come get you. He's gonna come get you. He's fucking up my good shirt at work. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All good. Thank you. God, you guys are full of shit. You said the cops called on you.
dude. According to that, Tiger Development is owned by David Maine. That's Cheryl Whitman's lackey PR person whose fucking glasses you broke. Yeah, Giga Ray is all over that area. In fact, we're not expanding. We're pulling out. I don't know who you got your info from. Anonymous sources. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah all right. Sorry, man. So she is a part of this. Yep. She doesn't want businesses to close at nine because of the homeowners association. She wants businesses to close at nine so that she can sabotage them and then swat them up. And she controls both the homes and the businesses and does whatever the hell she wants. Corporate fascist. But I mean, by my calculations, even with the homes and some local businesses, that'll get her closer to 100 million, but she's gonna need something way bigger. Huh. And we have no proof. In local news, the Beaumont Shore Merchants Association agreed to close all businesses by 9 p.m. That paved the way for a permanent ordinance to come before city council at their meeting next week. Okay, That's it. What? That's why Whitman hired us and sent us on the wild goose chase. She just needs to kill time till that ordinance can pass through city council. She just shows up and she's good. Oh, this woman is pissing me off more and more every second. Dude. I know someone we can talk to. So is city council trying to close Beaumont Shore businesses by nine? I don't know how the final vote's going to turn out any more than you do. Because of the Merchants Association? What kind of spine is that? The Merchants Association is important, but it's not just the Merchants Association. What else? I can't reveal city council workings. Oh, you're being lobbied. Let me guess, by Giga Ray. I can't talk about city council dealings. Can't or won't? There are procedures, and there are rules, and I'm just following the rules. So what happens if it doesn't pass? Well, then it probably won't come on the agenda for another year. Dude, so this is her last chance to wreak havoc on the community anytime soon. Shit, man! This woman, Cheryl Whippen, she nope. cannot be trusted. Nope, we're not doing that right now. Dude, I'm sorry, but but there is a lot more going on here. There is there is a different plan. She's trying to control the homeowners, dude and the businesses. Zip it, we will talk about this later. No, she is snatching up property, she's sabotaging businesses, and she is lying to the Homeowners Association, man. She's just a little off her meds. What do you say we cut this short and her some slack? We are investigating the death of his sister, who was the president of the Merchants Association. Look, if you can get evidence of this within the next week, then I suggest that you file a formal grievance with the city and then we can take it up at the next city council meeting next week. And if there is evidence, then it'll affect whether or not this ordinance moves forward. All right, well, I think that's our cue to leave. Thank you very much for your time, councilman. Uh, council member, we're gender neutral. Right, gotta remember the GN, the theys and the thems. Gotta nuke this binary brain. Cheryl Whitman is bad news. She can't be trusted. She's simply beside herself. It's been a stressful couple of days. Is there anything you can tell us about Whitman? She's been trying to give me this. Thank you. As reporters? No. More like investors of a sort. I run a local business and he's an interested party. Long Beach? Beaumont Shore. Oh, I like Beaumont Shore. My guys go there sometimes. Uh, Roman de Roma's got great coffee. You're like the Presidente of this union, huh? That's crazy. I mean, a good thing. I'm just looking to serve the membership. I don't see you now. People know based on your actions and your intentions are true. Yeah. Amen, brother. Uh, so, uh, we were just wondering, we, uh, noticed that Giga Ray, the real estate development company, sponsors some of your guys' get-togethers and events. Now what's that about? Is that, like, for legislation? I'll scratch your ass if you scratch mine? <laughs> no. I mean, it's pretty innocent so far. I think they're just looking to build a relationship with us. Us meaning? Poor workers. Any idea why that is? Not really. I mean, they've been awfully generous and supportive. Supporting our picnics scholarships for our kids. 
college, but it's a gift. Very interesting. Is it? Uh, so is there anything else you could tell us? I mean, the only thing I could think of is after one of our meetings, the woman Whitman asked directions to this ferry operator. That's interesting, man. Thank you. Hey, can I, uh, make a contribution to the union coffers? <laughs> no. Okay. Gigaray wants to control the Homeowners Association, Merchants Association. They're courting port workers and buying a ferry company. All right, so maybe she's trying to create a new customer base and then ferry them over? That could be some serious dinero. And this is her one shot. I mean, this is her chance at this entire project. I mean, it's gonna have to go through city council a week or, or a year from now, dude, and she is in serious debt. I mean, the stakes are through the roof for her. We still don't know why Melissa. Hello? It's Cheryl Whitman. Hey. How's the research going? I haven't heard from you. Man, you know that these things, they take time. Mm-hmm. Any progress? Yeah, a lot of progress. Great. Okay. Can we meet Friday? I don't know. I'll call you. Bye. Oh, shit. You've been broken into. Nah. It's a beach shack, man. I gave it May the day off like eight years ago. Mm. No, I don't know. Something's off. Where is my Sanskrit pipe? Your what? My Sanskrit pipe? My Egyptian bowl? It's gone. It's gone. I, I always, I always put it right here. It's the one thing that I never lose. Always. Fuck, I was robbed. Yeah, I mean, technically it was a burglary. Burglary, robbery, who gives a fuck? My Sanskrit pipe is gone. And they took my Sanskrit pipe, my Egyptian bowl that I got from Egypt. When did you go to Egypt? Well, I bought it online, but we know who it is. It's this capitalist asshole, Cheryl Whitman. The real estate developer. Yes. Omar, I am telling you, this lady has something to do directly with Melissa Bailey's death. The real estate woman? Yes, we've been gathering evidence. <laughs> And what she means by that is we may have evidence, and we may not, and it is great to see you. Have you lost weight? Have you heard that Japan is developing defensive missiles? What are you involved in? What do you mean, dude? I, I get a call from Councilman Wolf saying- well, I believe you mean Council Member Wolf. Gotta remember you're non-binary, so you're they's and you're them's. And saying you're acting strange about showing up. And that. then I get an anonymous tip that you were hired to video Melissa Bailey before she died. What? Well, what does that have to do with anything? It means you told me a big fat old lie, man. Outside Melissa's apartment, I asked you if you knew her. You said no. You're fucking me, Amber. You're fucking me with no loo. Come on, don't you see what this lady's doing? She's, this dot com queen is screwing us. You know what I see? I see Cheryl Whitman is a respected member of the community. She just gave what to the uh, Police Protective League? Ice cream for the ice cream social. Ice cream for the ice cream social. It was good too, none of that cheap shit either. It was like Cold Stone Creamery, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Cold Stone Creamery. That shit is good. That shit is damn good, but you had to have known it came with baggage. Yeah, like, what? You guys get ice cream and all of a sudden everything's fine? What are you, like five? What I'm saying is, you're barking up the wrong tree. The Melissa Bailey investigation is proceeding along just fine, as long as you let me do my job. 
Well, dude, I think it, to me, it sounds like you two are getting paid a little bit more than ice cream. Excuse me, you Philip Marlowe burnout? I should have Ramon check your business license, see if it's up to date. Yeah, shut you down for a while. Look, I'm warning you, stay away from her. I want this lady pursued, captured, and brought to justice for this heinous crime. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Hey, Ramon, we gotta bring these people to justice. Hmm. Take it easy, all right? No, I am angry, man. They crossed a fucking line. Stoner rule number one, you do not steal somebody's paraphernalia. Actually, stoner rule number one, you don't steal somebody's stash, but this is a close second. Okay, all right, so yeah, no, it's good you're angry. Let's use that, you know, focus. Wrap this thing up and get me back to my very lucrative life. We cannot go tipping our hand to the local PD. It's just like, we don't know how it went down. I mean, why Melissa Bailey? Good point. So what? She was the president of the Merchants Association and, and they didn't agree to close businesses at nine and you heard the councilman. Remember, you heard the council member. There are other ways to go about closing businesses at nine. You, you pay off a bunch of fuckers and you push ordinance through city council. They don't agree so you kill her. Doesn't that seem like a huge risk when there are other ways to skin a cat? Jesus, you get pissed and suddenly you're sharp as a fucking tack. I want my Sanskrit pipe back. Melissa came to us right before she died. She said we needed to go away for a few days to prepare to go into hiding because someone was threatening to deport us. Who? Do you know who? She did not say. I don't know anything more about that. We were afraid. Melissa was our friend. She was like family. It broke our hearts not to go to the funeral, but I had my children to protect. Was it nice? Uh, very. It was very nice. Thank you for asking. So that's how they got to her. Who? Melissa. She didn't care about herself, but threatening to deport them? No, it's a different story. And all because of my video. This is wrong. I'm putting my consulting on hold. I'm gonna see this through. Is there something you want to tell me, man? All right, look, that is the oldest trick in the book. I can explain that. Don't you see what's going on here? Yeah, you're meeting with women behind my back. What the fuck, dude? No. All right, look, after the first time we were attacked by those surf Nazis, and before we knew what was what, I got a call from Whitman saying she wanted to meet to discuss some business, for my business. Being the enterprising fellow that I am, I went. It turned out to be a huge waste of time. I now see it was a setup for that, but don't you see what's happening? Well, why didn't you just tell me, dude? Because we don't know each other, and by the time we figured out she was behind everything, I didn't think you'd believe me. I now see that was a huge mistake. Yes, it was, because now I definitely don't trust you. Uh, I'll grant you that, but you know, I didn't even know how long I was going to stay. I thought this was all going to be a huge waste of time. I had no idea the shit Melissa had stepped into, and I figured, why not pick up some business for my trouble? I realized all of that was wrong, but the fact remains, Melissa was my sister. She was innocent and she was killed and you're missing the forest for the fucking plants. Oh, am I, Mr. Big Picture? Why don't you lecture me, Mr. Uh, backstabbing, self-centered CIA man? I'm not trying to lecture you, but if you want to insult me, if you want to jump on board the Dwayne self-loathing bandwagon, you're going to have to take a number and get in line down the block. Cheryl is not going to stop coming after us because there is some loose thread that we either have or she thinks we might have. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the burglary and Blanco and those killer beach dudes and now this shit. There is some 
bit of information she thinks we have, and until that ordinance passes or she figures out what it is, she is not gonna stop fucking with us. Okay, I grant you that. But I still don't trust you. And we don't know what ties her to Melissa's death. And I grant you that as well, my lady. Can we be done with the 19th century courtesies? Look, I, I just want to spend some time by myself. I need to find that guy that hired me, and no disrespect, but I want to be alone. Okay, I understand. I would probably want the same thing. I am sorry. Hey, uh, what is, what's this? Oh, it's the new social center on campus. So we don't have to travel to Beaumont Shore to party. Right on. Don't talk! Oh, it's gonna back me up! Oh my god. Well, please, please don't use my plan to wipe yourself. Of course. Smile for the camera. You exceeded my expectations. Yeah? Well, I realize the only other person who would go undercover and do what you did would be another PI. So hey. We do live in a morally slippery world, don't we? You and I are one of the true pure litmus tests for capitalism. This will do nearly anything, and certainly things most people wouldn't do for a fee. What society hires us for tells us more about society than us. Look, man, whatever. I can work with you to help minimize the damage, but you gotta tell me who hired you. You? This is bigger than you and I. Dude, once I show the police this, they are gonna yank your license because you're gonna be considered an accessory to death. So society's not gonna be really hiring you for much. Well, those are big words coming from someone who works out of her apartment. Your business is like something even you don't believe in. Yeah. Well, that was before I realized the larger forces at work. Why don't I just do this? Well, you can be on your way. <sighs> You have a gift for it. Good luck. Hey man, do you remember seeing this guy outside of my office? Sorry, do I, do I know you? You don't know me, but you do know my office. 
You've had sex outside of my office. Oh, you shit outside my office. Oh, you threw up in a plant that is outside of my office. Oh. Um, ring a bell. No. I think you're the wrong guy. You're right. I do. Hello. Hello. What's happening? Oh, trying to play golf. Doctor says exercise and relaxation are good for the prostate. Yeah? Uh-huh. I was about to make a part two, and then I get a call about a dead body. <laughs> no shit. Mm -hmm. I got a call to be here too, bro. Some personal time. You must be pissed. My Sanskrit pipe. Ah. Yeah, these. How do you think he got him? He probably got him when he went over to my place and took my possession. No, the fucker. You know what I think? I think this guy hired you, saw an old flame, had a beef with her, slipped into her place, gave her the poisonous pot, and killed Melissa Bailey. Found a print match from him in her place. There's the candy she ate thinking it was a normal edible. You found out about it, was pissed he made a fool of you, and you did him. You think I did this? Look at his body, it's so mangled. That's like MMA work. Maybe you had someone else do it. Like that partner of yours? Ex-CIA seeking revenge for the death of his sister? Dwayne? No, dude, he is so out of shape, man. He like really needs to work on his cardio. He's so out of shape. He's not Jason Bourne. Maybe he's angry and frustrated. Dude, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? Melissa Bailey was gay. This is not an old flame, okay? Yes, this guy hired me and, and all, but I wasn't looking for him because I was pissed at him. I was looking for him because whoever hired him, I'm telling you, is behind Melissa Bailey's death. And I can't prove it, but I'm fucking telling you, it's my favorite person on this planet, man. I think you have Cheryl Whitman on the brain. It's not healthy. Look, do you smell this? Do you smell that? Sunscreen. Melissa's brother's from the East Coast. People from the East Coast, they don't fucking go outside. And if they do go outside, they don't know to wear sunscreen. Yeah, that's true. I have a brother-in-law from Jersey. Man, he always get fried. My money is on Whitman hired the killer beach dudes. And then they used this guy to hire me. This guy was fucking nuts enough to slip her synthetic weed, but now they're trying to cover up their tracks and pin it on me with you. I mean, come on, I get a phone call to be here and then you two show up, give me a break. Then why didn't you call me when you saw the body? Dude, I just got here, man. I was just looking around, seeing what I could find. You're too involved in this. I should take you in right now. Dude, you wanna charge me? Charge me. But I am telling you, the only fucking reason I am involved in this is because I'm trying to clear my name, okay? And I can't do that if I'm killing somebody, all right? You wanna yank me off, yank me off. But I am telling you, there is some dark forces going on in our little corner of the universe, and it's trying to vanquish our sunshine and kill our fucking buzz. You know what, your dark force vanquishing my sun and my buzz. I am close to proving who's behind it. I swear, the second I have something, you will have something. You can't be trusted. You're right, man. This is all new to me. I'm doing things I have never done before, and I'm not handling it that well, okay? But I'm doing my best. So what do you want to do? 
I don't want to have to catch up to you. That's understandable. Look, I expect to be looped into this. And when it's all said and done, I'm coming to collect some free advice about my son. Dude, of course, man. But not like in a bribing way, like two co-workers shooting the shit kind of way. We're gonna have to take your friend in for questioning. I have to do that or I will have my ass served to me for brunch by my boss. Can I have my pipe back? No, this is evidence for now. Fine. There's always a fucking video. How do you know? Because that asshole Zach Bumper wanted it. Can you believe it? Probably incriminate Cheryl Whitman up the kazoo. Yeah, we must have missed something. Ah, uh, hey, listen, man. Uh, I'm out of here. No, dude, dude. Don't go. You were right, okay? I was wrong. Okay, I'm imperfect. I just like. I heard about that whole Cheryl Whitman thing, and I just freaked out. That's all. I have trust issues. Yeah, we all do. It's called emotional scarring. It, it, it builds up around the heart like a steel drum. Plus, I was super stressed out. I'm not used to working this hard. <laughs> Feels good though, right? Make your lady bits a tingle? No, man. That's hideous. Don't ever say that again. Yeah, it felt wrong when I said it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Plus, they want to bring you in. What? They want to bring me in for what? Killing my own sister? No. Zack Bumper. I'm gonna rip Cheryl Whitman's heart out of her chest and throw it over the Vincent Thomas Bridge into the Port Canal! Well, don't worry, dude. Do not worry. Meet me at your sister's house, okay? <sighs> Fine. So, your sister was smart. She would've put it somewhere where maybe we didn't look, or... Maybe she put it someplace that she knew that they wouldn't look, but that you would. Okay, all right, so I have to put myself in my sister's mindset, guessing my mindset. So, where would she put it where it could be found, but she didn't want it to be found? But then knowing my sister, she probably misplaced it along the way. So, she was going to put it someplace where it could be found, but she didn't want it to be found, and then she misplaced it. Jesus, my head hurts. Now I know what it must be like for a sober person to talk to a stoner. Okay, so she went to put it next to the rest of the thumb drives and then... Brett. Okay, Blanco said she had synthetic weed and ibuprofen in her system. So she had an edible, felt like shit, took an Advil. Except ibuprofen never really worked on her, so she never took Advil. No. So why take it in the first place? She left a trail for me. I've tried to work with you, but you forced my hand. Allow the Merchant Owners Association to close businesses at 9 p.m. or I'll be forced to tell my friend at ICE about your friends, the Alvarados. You know about the Alvarados? So you're threatening to deport them unless I do what you want? I don't threaten. You have choices. That's it. Cheryl threatened her with the Alvarados, but Melissa was too smart. She recorded it. Once she had that, she had Whitman by the balls. There's no way this city ordinance passes now. Trash the whole plan. <laughs> that debt-ridden female grommet Whitman had no choice. Hey, make a copy. Yeah. It won't let me. What do you mean? I mean, the thumb drive is locked. Oh, it probably does that so it doesn't, uh... You know, like a race. Can you unlock that or? Edward Snowden couldn't crack this thing. Okay, fuck it. Go back to the beginning. I'll just record with my phone. I've tried to work with you. Honey, we're home. I'll take it.
with you. What? That's it? I know, what can I say, man? They were up in my face, fast. Oh, this thing is trashed, fucking roadkill. The only thing we had tying Whitman to Melissa's death is gone. Wait, wait. We know the video was destroyed, but Cheryl doesn't. Yeah? Meet me there in an hour. All right. Okay, get, please leave. Oh, okay. Bye. Hey. Allow the Merchant Association to have businesses close at 9 p.m. Or I'll tell my friend Ice about your friend, the Alvarados. That's enough. Figures. Well, you didn't really think I'd forget about the glasses, did you? Oh, no, I knew you'd crawl out from under your rock eventually. Looks like they stayed off. <laughs> Contacts. Give me the thumb drive, proof that you deleted off your phone, and that's not on social media, and I'll let him go. I can't do that, man. Whoa, what? Thanks a lot. What do you want? I want 50 fucking thousand dollars made out to BS investigations. Once a check clears, I'll... I'll hand everything over. Are you serious right now? After everything we've been through, the talks and the moments and the glances and the almost kisses, after everything we've been through, it's gonna come down to this? Dude, there were no almost kisses. I'm looking out for numero uno. Can somebody get this woman some THC? Hi. I gotta tell you, man, I'm impressed. I didn't get the whole port thing, but then I went onto campus the other day. You control homeowners, businesses, and you start ferrying over port workers. But you need to kick the students out, so you literally create a new place for them to go. So then, what, you bring over 900,000 new port workers to replace a few thousand poor college students. That's a lot of newer, higher paying customers, man. We are next to the 11th largest port in the world. We serve as port workers. Soon, we influence the city council. Then, the ports will go up for sale. Whoa. You want to own the port? Privatization is the future. And Melissa got in your way, so you had to take care of her. She had more decency and a discarded pubic hair than you'll have in five lifetimes. She got in the way of progress and had to be dealt with. Take him someplace and release him. He's not a threat to us. Let's go, tough guy. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Do not touch me! You know, I could learn a lot from you, man. Hmm. Maybe I could use you. First thing you can do is get rid of those foul, disgusting, hideous students. Whoa, what is this? It's over. Wait, wait, you're taking her side. You realize it's gonna be a whole bunch of internal inquiries and liabilities because you're relying on her. We all swim in the same waters. You piss in her yard, you piss in mine. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Don't do this, Cheryl. It's not worth it. Uh, hey man, is that loaded? You think you're serving the community, serving justice. <laughs> you're killing the big idea. You're 
You're killing Groot! Take it easy, okay? Nobody's killing anything. Yeah, he's right. Now that I know the plan, I'm gonna invest myself. You're going to invest. Yeah, I'm gonna invest too. Just put the gun down. Wait, wait, wait. You're part of the union, right? You can invest your pension. We make double-digit returns and double-digit returns on top of that. Why, we'd all be fabulously wealthy. Don't you see? And then I'll be back on the cover of Forbes. Wasn't it Fortune? Yes. Back where I belong on top of Fortune magazine will be huge. God, she's going full on Norma Desmond. Oh, no, no, hey. no, no, no. You're under arrest for the murders of Melissa Bailey and Zach Bumper. I can't believe they taken down by you and her! Yes, investigations, huh? What's that stand for? Butt? Sniffer? Oh. I'm gonna miss that. Thank you so much, man. That video, she totally bought it. How'd you do it? Special effects sometimes come to the handy. We worked on it together. So, are we good? We're good. Thanks. You know, I thought about what you said at Melissa's memorial, that she could do things she'd never done before because she got strength by doing right by others. So anytime I had doubts throughout this process, I just thought, I am doing this for her. You know, you don't need validation from Whitman or me or anybody else. You just need yourself. Right on. Well, since I don't need validation, I didn't need to hear you say that, <laughs> but thanks. So, what are you gonna do now? Oh, you know, go back to making money ass over elbows, work on my fabulous fortune, take care of myself. Oh yeah? Nah. I'll probably take on some consulting, but I don't know. I might try to pick up where Melissa left off. Help out the Alvarados, see where that takes me. After all, the world is filled with life and love and there's peace everywhere. I don't believe you believe that for a second. Well, what do you believe? I believe in marijuana. <laughs> what do you believe? I believe in numero uno. Remember, we had a whole thing back there. I don't believe you believe that either. Jeez, am I going to have to bare my soul to Mother Teresa again? Maybe. BS investigations. Yep, we do it all. Mm hmm. Murder, yep, everything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can definitely help you with that.
face and said, don't you cry. She said, this'll never 